Hi, we're going to do a Myrtlewood box today, and we're going to do it off center. And we're going to take our use our using our four jaw chuck. We're going to take a couple of teeth out and do it that way. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, I uh, just did a little test on a, on a scrap piece of oak ahead here. So what I did was I took uh, two of the jaws out of my and just pulled them off out of my four jaw chuck, and then that way you can slide slide the piece anywhere in there that you want and and cup out or hollow out or put a little bit of detail in different spots. Um, okay, so what I have here is a piece of myrtle wood and I'm going to try and start giving you dimensions. I've had a couple people ask, say it was kind of hard to fig uh, figure out what size wood I was using. This is an eight, 8 by uh, just under 2.5 by just over an inch thick. So that's what we're going to use and we're going to make a, a small box on one end of it and then we'll go ahead and clean up, clean up the rest of it after we turn it. So just go ahead and Mount it in there. Just make sure it doesn't hit. And just go ahead and tighten it up. Just go ahead and make sure, spin it around a couple times and make sure it's not gonna, not gonna hit anything when you turn it on because it is off center and it's gonna be uh, moving pretty fast. All right, and then we're just going to cup out on one end of it. And I'm just going to use a round nose scraper to do it. And you can, you're going to be able to see there when you're looking in is to where, where there's nothing to turn. So don't go past that edge right there. And just kind of, so you can see when you start to get close, that's what you're, you're seeing when you can see through the wood. So we're going to go in with a square scraper so, so that we have something for the lid to seat on. Remember, just go in parallel so that the little seat nice and tight. Then just uh, just a simple uh, depth gauge. Make sure you're not gonna pop through the bottom. We still have quite a bit to go there. There we go. All right. Pull that out of there. And there, there's just a little bit of a lip for the lid, and then it's cupped out. And now I'll go ahead and clean up these little little bit of uh, marks left by the by the chuck there, and we'll go ahead and turn a lid for it. And then you can actually put it on, you know, take it over your spindle sander or whatever, um, and uh, you know, you can do some hand sanding on it and shape it a little bit. Um, I'm just going to do a basic simple one this time, and maybe uh, play around with some other stuff next time. But we're just going to do a simple one to kind of show everybody how it works. Let's go ahead and make the lid. And I'm going to go ahead and put the chuck back together now. All right. Now I just got another little piece of myrtle wood and cut it two and a half inches uh, around two. And I'm just going to true it up and then make the lid out of it. Go ahead and come in from the front. And uh, cup it out a little bit and make sure it fits on the on the box from this side.
take the box and figure out our diameter here. And then go ahead. We can come on just a little bit on that one. And then we'll come come out here and then bring that down until it fits right inside the, the box. Bring this off here. Make sure it fits fits in there nice. Probably really don't want a, a tight fit on it. Um, you know, to, uh, you know where it pops because then it's gonna try to lift this up as you you know try and pull the box up. But just have it up, fit on there, just just nice. You know, it just doesn't need to be too tight. And I'm going to take and hollow out the inside a little bit more. And I'm going to leave enough on the top to where I can turn a little finial on it. But I need to create a little lip in there so that I can turn around and make a jam chuck for it. So I can finish the top. And just make sure and keep the keep the wall in there parallel so when you turn a uh, jam on the, on the waste block that it, it fits on there if they're tapered you know either way every time you touch it with the chisel it'll try and pop off on you and I've, I've had a couple comments on that too that, that uh, whatever it is they're trying to turn it keeps popping off and it's because it's not parallel Round nose scraper. Here we go. We'll just bring this. Bring that down just a little bit more. It's just a little bit tight. And just take take little bits off at a time. You can always uh, take a little bit more off, but you can't put it back on. So there we go. That's just about perfect. After sanding, you know, that'll be just just fit on there nice. down here. I want to leave it on there because I'm going to turn turn the finial out of that though. Just a little handle. There we go. Let's use the parting tool here to part it off. Now I'll go ahead and create a jam chuck with that little recess there and pop it off. All right, I turn the tenon down there, and we're just going to go ahead and make a 
finish up the little finial here. There we go, have it all cleaned up, um, and I'll go ahead and sand it. Um, all right, um, I got just ahead of myself and completely spaced it off. Uh, sand everything as you go. I forgot to sand the inside of that while I was on the lathe. I forgot to sand the inside of the uh, lid. So we'll start now. I'm gonna go ahead and sand the, sand the lid up. And I'm just using the mineral oil and paste wax. Alright, I'm just uh, finishing up with the 600 here. Go ahead and pop it off. There we go. Just a nice, nice little piece of myrtle wood. And the lid fits right in there like that. We'll go ahead and sand this up and clean it all up. And what I did is it's just just a little bit loose in there. So it's not something that's you know gonna gonna need pop out to get uh, get it out. So let's go ahead and finish this up and then I'll be back. Alright, have it all sanded up. There we go. And um you could do one on each end. Um, you could do three small ones or what, whatever you want. This is just a simple one to kind of show you how how I did it. All right, there we go. And like I said before, this is just a basic one. Um, you can do a lot of different things with it. Um, but there we have it. Thanks for watching.